Hello, and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Tonight, I finally, finally, I'm going to be able to explore Civivi. If you guys don't know this, Civivi is the budget line for Wii Knife. I've never owned one, never handled one. I see them all over the place. I hear nothing but great things about it. So I finally decided to bite the bullet and grab one. So let's get this thing open. So it looks like it comes a box inside of a box. The one I picked up model it's called the Praxis. Come on, baby. It is in the black G10. It's got the 9CR18 steel, satin finish blade. Let's open her up and see what we got. Now, just like the Wii brand, Civivi also comes in a nice little pouch. Inside the pouch, looks like we got some paperwork, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and the knife itself. Wow, a gorgeous little knife. Oh, oh my god, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Holy crap, the action on this is fantastic. Straight out of the box, damn near drop shut. Wow. Beautiful gold colored steel liners. It is a flipper tab deployment. Watch this. Oh, fantastic. It's got a very nice deep carry pocket clip on there. Really good spring tension on that. And this thing is a beauty. Can't believe I waited this long to try these out. Looks like we do have a black G10 backspacer. Looks like the Scale screws are all T8, T8 pivot, very beautiful hollow ground, super sharp drop point style blade, has a beautiful swedge, pretty fine tip. We get this to focus. Tip looks fantastic. Edge bevel is uh, pretty nicely done and consists consistent from one side to another. It's got a great forward finger choil. Man, does that lock that knife in your hand. Some beautiful jimping. Let me set this down. Bear with me for just a second, guy. This guy's gals, this other light's killing me over here. There we go. That's a little better. Now, like most Civivis that I've seen, there is pretty much no badging whatsoever on the blade, which I like. I like the clean look of just a finished blade with no, no billboards, no names. And that is done just fantastically. In fact, from what I've seen, most of the time they don't even stamp, or if they do stamp, you can barely tell where you have to find where they stamp the steel on here. This one doesn't appear to be marked anywhere on the blade. 
gorgeous, gorgeous knife. Centering on this, let's see if we can, is, well, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It is a liner lock. You can see down in there, it looks like we're getting about 30% lock up, which is perfect. Super smooth action straight from the box. Once you get past that detent, it pretty much almost just drops shut. Man, this is beautiful. Has very well done G10 scales. Everything's kind of deep chamfered off. No, no squared hard spots anywhere other than the pocket clip. This thing feels fantastic in hand. Let's get a little bit of measurements going on here, guys. This is a fairly large knife. So the overall length on this guy is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Almost eight and a half inches. Your uh, blade length is going to be one, two, three, oh, about three and three quarter inches with one, two, three and a quarter of actual cutting edge on the blade. This thing has a beautiful, beautiful little upswept belly on there. Again, super sharp straight from the package. Man, what a fantastic job. Now, I've had a couple of Wii knives before, and in my opinion, so far, if you guys get into any of the Chinese-produced knives, uh, they're all very good. Uh, my three top favorite is Wii, Kubi, and Tucson. And I think out of the three, Wii has got to be probably at the moment, one of the best production knives coming from China, and the Civivi budget line of Wii is just blowing me away. Just blowing me away. This is absolutely fantastic. Wow. Great color combo on this with the black and gold visually appealing to me, which is kind of why I picked this knife. If you can see, let me see if I can get a good shot of this. Bump the camera, sorry guys. It's a little hard to tell, but the liner is actually milled out too, which really, really cuts down on the weight. I'm not sure exactly how much this knife weighs, but if I had to guess, three and a half, three point eight, maybe four ounces at the most. Just a fantastic job on this. Fantastic job. Does have the lanyard hole in the back spacer for all you lanyard fans out there. And I just can't get enough of this action. <laughs> Holy mackerel, that's fantastic. Works perfect as a light switch style opening. It's got some pretty nice little jimping on the flipper tab there. Come on, focus, baby. Not aggressive, but grabs your finger very well. Let's see if we can push button it. Oh, good lord. <laughs> that thing just fires out like a rocket even on... Whoops. Push button. Super smooth. Man, I am just blown away by the the quality of this. And again, this is the budget line for Wii. From what I've seen, most of their stuff ranges $40, $45 up to $70. And I gotta tell you, I am a fan. I am a fan. Oh, oh, I can barely see something. This is what I was trying to tell you before. Let me grab this. It's kind of oily here. So, let's see if we can get this to really focus. So, right here, 
above my fingertip and the smallest of small is your blade steel stamping. It's a little hard to pick up. It looks like a little black groove literally right there above my thumbnail. But that does say 8CR 13 MOV. And that is the only billboarding other than the C pivot collar on this knife. And I think that's fantastic. It does have a beautiful satin finish to this blade. An absolutely perfect hollow ground. Centering on all the grind marks is fantastic. F side to side, very consistent. Beautiful swedge again. Just a fantastic knife. Well, anyhow guys, that's it for tonight. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love the feedback. Uh, one other thing, uh, as of this video, I think I'm pushing 275-ish subscribers. At the 300 mark, I'm going to be doing another giveaway. Also check out very soon the 200 subscriber giveaway. It's been a week. Haven't heard anything from the fella. So I'm going to redo that, post that up tonight, so be on the lookout. Gorgeous. Anyhow, have a great night, folks. Until next time, take care.